welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the 2011 CW Transporter into a Chevy Bing install. First of all, we're going to go ahead and remove the top trim. Just go ahead. First of all, we're going to remove the top trim just around here using the pry tool down the back. Do a little lift and then lift it up. And then once that one's removed, there's two 225 torque screws just at the top here. Just go ahead and remove them. So once those two screws are removed with the fascia to give it a little pull from the front and it releases it. So we'll grab your pry tool again, run it around the edge. And then it will come out completely. So to bring it forward, obviously if you are gonna do it, be careful that are a couple airbag sensors on this one. So just remove the plug. Just remember, don't turn on the ignition. So if we go ahead and remove those ones, So once they are removed, obviously you turn the power back onto the unit. Just make sure there's actually no CDs left in that. Nope. So we'll turn that one off. And then the unit just literally goes straight out. Once that is removed, you're left with a tap for a connection to the aerial and a bod lock adapter to the aerial power. So next we're going to install is going to be the DAB antenna from Auto Lead. So to do this one first of all we're going to remove the speaker grill from the bottom left hand corner. Take the price all in and it raises out. And then it'll be the surround on the A-pillar. So if you put the price on behind it and then there is a little clip. And it will pop out. Now if you give it a lift up. There's actually three clips on the back of this one. We'll lift up. And then that is removed. So that is the three clips on there, the three plastic clips you can see. And then with the DAB entire, we'll put it halfway up the screen. So we'll remove the sticky film first of all. Stick it onto the screen. And then it does have a ground cable, like a ground sticky pad. And stick that one onto the metal surface, like so. And then we'll jump onto the microphone next. Install the Pioneer mic, which will obviously run gravel it. We're then going to install the mic just at the top of the head lining in the centre. And again, using your pride tool, run it across the headline in, and then it sticks the mic in place. And then we're going to run the cables down with the existing wiring just down the side here. So 
the next bit we'll be actually removing the glove box. There is five T20 screws in here. So we'll just go ahead and remove them. And then the glove box will just literally lift up and out it comes. And we'll continue running the cables with the existing wiring down the side. And then obviously the glove box has been removed so it's easier access behind. So stick your hand behind the back of the glove box. And then the cable will drop down behind the back and you can actually pull it up through the glove box. So if we do that again with the dab aerial and then we'll get that one installed. Head off the hood, pull through the glove box, tape it all up so it's nice and neat. So we've literally got it all taped up, just put your hand back through where the shower actually was this time. Pull the cables through from the glove box and then refit the glove box. So I'll just refit the glove box, put the back in first, get the push, and it clicks in place, and then add in the five T20 screws. Go ahead and do that. Once they are all fitted, or once screwed back in, there's actually four black covers that will sit over the top of the screws. So then pop them back on. So if you wonder what they look like, they're just like that. So you pop them back over the screws and it finishes the glove box. So it's a nice flush fit. Place. Nice little tap. Just three little location pins and it lock itself in place. And then on that last corner, don't forget to put the drill back over the speaker. That there just clips back in place. And then it's on to the stereo. Part number installed is going to be the Volkswagen Fascia from Connect to P. The part number is CT24 VW from Kit. So this uses the original four screws from the factory bit of stereo. Go ahead and fit this one. So it fits in place. And the four original screws from the stereo. So once you've got the facer in plate, bring back over the original facer. Pop in the airbag sensor one. And then the facer just sits over it. Pop in the air conditioning bottom first. And the bottom left corner right and work the way around so once that one's in put the rest of the two t25 screws in the top right
now that the side face is back in, put the top one in. So put the front first and then the back one and it just clips in. lock onto the VW side and the Fakra aerial onto the Fakra and obviously on this VW it will need a hardware so make sure you run a fly lead through to the fuse box to an ignition feed. Right, through to the fuse box which on a lot of transporters is just down under here. If we go ahead and fit the Pioneer cage to it. So obviously in the process make sure you don't trap any wires. Make sure that all the tabs are all pushed in so it's nice and secure whilst driving and it's not going to fall around or fall out when you're actually driving. And then the next stage will be adding the stereo. Let's do that. So see, first of all, connect in your Pioneer power. Secondly, it will be your dab antenna. Then it'll be your hands-free mic. Then we'll do your FM aerial. And then it'll be the USB. Now we'll grab the power from the fuse box and get it powered up. So once we've connected the fuse, we've now got power through to the radio. So let's see what we got on here. So we got DAB, standard FM, your Bluetooth. You can play your Spotify via your Bluetooth. You got your iPod inputs, AUX input on the rear, and then obviously USB input. We've installed it here for the customer, supplied and fitted for them. And then what we're going to have on here is once you connect up your phone, you can get your Apple CarPlay. Let's go ahead and get some Apple CarPlay. Right, get your Apple CarPlay. So you just grab your standard charger, plug it in to the USB, and then it brings up on the stereo. So as you can see, it brings up your maps, your phone, messages, WhatsApp, Google Maps. Let's have a look, see what Google Maps looks like. So it brings up pretty much everything you need. So if you've enjoyed today's videos guys, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll catch you all soon. Cheers guys.